Why should people visit the computer game museum? I think everyone who played in the 70s and in the 80s will find their favorite games here. It's not only nostalgia because you can show your children what was the first game, how it was played and why it's so important to us and why it still makes fun. We only have 20 minutes in the computer game museum. I don't have time to learn. Uh, I don't have time to learn. Oh man, look at all these systems. Game Boy, Lynx, SNES, Game Gear. I had a Game Gear when I was a kid. It takes 38 AA batteries and 64. That was my favorite system growing up, Nintendo 64. Oh man, look at this controller. This is huge. This is too much like exercise. <laughs> no! Check it out, guys. It's Lara Croft. Two Lara Crofts. And they're shooting each other in the ankles. So after you close the store, how often do you make out with the Lara Croft dolls? <laughs> we tried not to do it, but... Uh, it's hard not to sometimes. It's hard not to. It looks uh, lifelike, so it's, uh, it's hard not to fall in love with them. Yeah. Check it out. It's an arcade. NBA Jam, Frogger, Centipede, Polyplay. This is a game where you shoot deer. Ugh, I can't do it. I can't shoot that beautiful animal. Yeah! That deer's dead. You hit the button, I'll move the guy. All right, you ready? Ah, that's your fault. It's all your fault. Step it up. Yeah! <laughs> this is like a classic 1980s bedroom. Look at this. You got Return of the Jedi on the wall, Rambo, Mad Magazine, cassette tapes. The only thing this bedroom is missing is lube. It's not just reading about the games, you yeah. can actually play a lot of you the can, games too. You can play arcades, you can play old consoles. We also gave, have a game of the month. We put, uh, we take a game that's maybe a, a, bit, a little bit obscure, maybe no one heard about it, maybe it's an old classic and we show it and we give, uh, inf uh, give uh, information about the game, so uh, it's really worth checking out. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the most underrated video game? I think E.T. E.T.? E yes. That's the worst game of all time. No, it's not. It was so bad they put it in a landfill in the yeah, desert. Yes, but uh, they overproduce the game, but it's not actually that bad. Because people think it's uh, awful, it's not. <laughs> I don't need friends, I got video games. I'm gonna play Pong against myself. I both won and lost. Oh man, I can't wait to play this game. It is Crash Bandicoot. Never mind. Yeah! All right. Oh no, this game's tricking me into exercising. Why is E.T. not that bad? Uh, it, uh, it was explained badly how, how to play the game. People didn't understand what they need to do. Uh, uh, but it ha ha uh, had game mechanics that are pretty uh, good. And y you can play the game. If you know what to do, it makes fun. It's, it, it's a rushed game. It, ha it has its problems, but it's not the worst game. There are, there are new games made right now that are worse than E.T. Like what? Um, Sims 3, for example. I think the worst game is reality, because you only get one life. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you can get two lives right now. Uh, <laughs> you can switch your heart out, it's like a new life. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. Come and visit the Computer Game Museum. It's fun. Computer Games Museum. Check out the last four videos if you missed them. Joe Goes to Berlin, The Joe Goes Meetup, Joe Goes Clubbing on a Sunday Morning, and Joe Goes to a Demo Party. Subscribe to Joe Goes! I love you. I love you so much. But now, I found somebody else. I'm sorry. I did it. I broke up with her for you. Now, we can just stay together forever. What? Baby, please take me back. I thought I was in love with her, but I was wrong. Please, I can change. I can change. Yo, it's Ghostface Killer. I want y'all to subscribe to Joe Ghost. He's a very nasty boy from US. <laughs> no worries, Mike! Subscribe! It's all good! <laughs> no! It's not an orgy. Women only, women only. You're not a professional. <laughs> oh ho! <laughs> Little rude. Sorry!